Hi everyone. Well, it's October 15 and boy, every agenda has ramped up. These weather events continue to happen, manufactured by man, but we've got an awful lot of people in our respective countries believing that it's Mother Nature, it's God, oh, it's climate change, it's global warming, and it's not. <laughs> it's not. All right, I'm just going to go through some information, but I have to say, Everybody should be really angry at those friends and family members, those associates, those neighbors, those co-workers who refuse to grow up and deal with the reality that we are living. Get out of their delusions. Um, yeah, I guess it's really comfortable to just live a willfully ignorant, self-centered life and believe you're good. Well, it doesn't work that way. And, you know, with so many people suffering the consequences every single day now, man, I hope that you are handing it to those people in your life who refuse to even engage in conversation about what is taking place and remain children. Children. So Grindall61 posted this video, emergency message from Southern California Edison. Oh, it's not just no cow, it is so cow. Southern California Edison plans on shutting off power, why winds and fire. And he does point out that Southern California Edison apparently contacted, I don't know, five million of their customers and they were to have a meeting. You can't quote me on this. This is just what I remember. But uh, Southern California Edison sent a spokeswoman to speak to people about the power shutoff. And who showed up? Well, I guess no one. Monday night football is how she starts her meeting. Well, it's Monday night football. So I am not surprised that the uh, turnout is low. Yeah, we've got a real problem with the people in our respective countries. It's not just the United States. So I will link below to everything, all videos, all articles. Dangerous high winds. You know, many have been leaving comments underneath my video that I posted earlier about PG and E shutting off the power, and they have shut off the power to 17,000, perhaps even more now. Um, you should listen to the list of counties <laughs> that Grindall 61 uh, reads off that they plan on shutting off the power, and I do agree with him. They are acclimating everybody to having your power shut off. You think life is just going to return? to the life that we used to live here in the United States, uh-uh, it's done, it's over, it's dead. Now, Americans will get a taste of hardship, hardship, real hardship. Um, the comments that I've been receiving from my NoCal subscribers, the winds are very strange. And several people left a comment saying, it, sa it seems like the winds are just kind of coming from the ground. The tops of the trees are not, are not um, waving, shaking, but lower they are. Wow. Well, when man has technology to create all of what we are living in terms of the weather, in terms of the fires, in terms of the wind. If you have not done the research on scalar technology, microwaves, electromagnetic uh, frequencies, extremely low frequencies, high frequencies coming from Doppler radar, well, you might want to just check it out. Because all of these weather events that we are seeing are manufactured. And then people ask, why? Why would they manufacture? 
Well, then you have to do research on Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, to realize that the United Nations is, uh, and it's a United Nations plan. You can go to the website. You can check it out. Agenda 2030. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's very real. Unbelievable that we have people who will claim it's a conspiracy theory. It's not real. All they have to do is go to the United Nations website, put in Agenda 2030, and voila, they'll come up with an awful lot of information. But will they do that? No. Oh, because that just upsets them. They don't really want the truth. The truth is upsetting and it's negative. So I'm just going to live a positive life. Unfortunately, there's more of them than there are of us. And they beat us down. They beat us down. UK weather latest. Will Hurricane Michael hit Britain this week? I posted on this. And I did get... I got a comment from someone who said, I guess Michael and Leslie have met up and they're on a date. I guess they're on a date. They went to Europe to have that date. And I will let you know what happened with Leslie. Wow, Leslie. Mm. That uh, what they are calling a zombie hurricane. No joke. I also received an email from a subscriber who is in Britain and he said the Express uh, publication is I guess on its way out um, now they're just headlining you know things about aliens and stuff so well this is not entirely untrue but guess what UK weather forecast Britain braces for severe snow freak solar storm warning Wow! A severe winter blast will blanket swaths of Britain in thick snow while pushing temperatures to record lows this month. Shock long range weather forecasts warn. Yeah, freak changes in the composition of space around the sun are about to drive a chain of meteorological events locking the UK into a savage early Arctic freeze. It has been claimed. Who? Who claimed it? Rothschild, Rockefeller, weather terrorists, David Keith, geoengineers, who claimed it? I guess some um, meteorologists. Temperatures are expected to nosedive towards the end of October, bringing substantial snowfall across Scotland, northern and central England. It could herald the start of a four-month polar assault with snow and sub-zero temperatures threatening to grip the nation until February. Yes, guys in the UK, you are facing a worse freeze than that wrought by the beast from the east. Changes in the structure of the plasma layer around the sun will trigger wild deviations in the flow of the jet stream, a wild meandering jet stream. But people won't do the research to find out that Man has the technology to wildly meander that jet stream. <sighs> Unbelievable what we are living. Unbelievable what we are living. IPCC comes out with another assessment, the sixth. One through six. Their assessments have been shot down, shoddy, flawed, crap, science. Does anybody care? IPCC still is championed as the authority. It's the authority on climate change. Got to listen to the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Intergovernmental Intergovernmental, not interscience mental, um, intergovernmental. Well, what do they do on that panel? They create policy for countries. And I, I think it's now probably a hundred thousand scientists. We had, we had something like thirty-six thousand signing a petition disputing 
global warming, climate change. That was so many years ago, and the numbers just kept increasing on that position, on that petition. Um, scientists renowned all over the world, Nobel laureates, physicists, uh, Jesus, climate scientists, they have come out. But you're not going to see that. No, what you're going to see is uh, it's a plasma layer around the sun and it's going to create a wildly meandering jet stream and people are just going to believe it. Listen to this. King nearly 180 km per hour winds has hit Portugal. Authorities say it left hundreds of thousands of people without power before carrying heavy rain. On into Spain, the region around the capital Lisbon and the center of the country at uh, Leria and uh, Coimbra have been the worst hit. Electricity sky. is down and dozens of people. Wow. Hmm. Well, what could have created that pink right there? Lithium for sure. Um, some kind of uh, frequency zap or electricity zap because you don't see any sun anywhere. So I, th this is, these are the kinds of things that should really beg questions in people's minds, but maybe um, it's 2018. Well, I knew it in 1980s that very few people were connected to nature. Well, now it's 2018. We have less and less. They're staring at their phones. So they'll look at that and just look right back down at their phone. Zombie storm smashes into Portugal. 111 mile per hour winds. Well, um, man, 13 dead in France, 27 injured in Portugal, 300,000 without power, hundreds of trees uprooted. Portugal, Spain, France got hit with Michael. Oh, no, wait, was it Michael? Uh, maybe, I don't know, Leslie? Uh, rem remnants of Hurricane Michael heading toward Europe. Oh, October 13th. So remnants of Michael, the person who left comment saying Michael and Leslie met up and had a date in France. And then, well, you yeah, have the European Union now. It's easy to just go to Spain and Portugal. That was their date, Michael and Leslie. And people are going to believe it. They, they believe it. Zombie hurricane makes bizarre turn to strike Europe. I have never seen anything like it. How many times have we heard? I have never seen anything like it throughout the years. I have never seen anything like it. Uh, I've posted videos on all of the flash flooding. I've never seen anything like it. Never seen anything like it. Well, when you've never seen anything like it, that should motivate you to do some research that things are not quite right. You should do some research to find out why these weather events that you've never seen anything like it are occurring. When you see these uh, straight edged lines, you should know that is not Mother Nature. That is man geoengineering the sky and with frequencies, well, they can sure belt you with an awful lot of water, localized flooding, and you're going to see the damage that Leslie and Michael did. But what is a zombie storm? What exactly is a zombie storm? Mark Elliott, a meteorologist and storm specialist. Wow, you're a specialist, Mark? Um, sorry, uh, the Weather Channel <laughs> From the Weather Channel, ah, oh, the Weather Channel, okay, tells People magazine that this term is used to describe storms that meander over open water for a while without completely running out of steam. Okay, well, oh, wow, okay, what did I say wow to? Was it the crashing wave 
or was it the sky? The geoengineered sky with the microwaves. And people think that this is a normal sky? Really? Scary. So the zombie term, it comes up every once in a while when a system fizzles out and then is able to regain organization and keep going, Elliot says. Specifically, the National Hurricane Center. Oh, well, we can really rely on them to tell the truth. Yes, they were issuing advisories on Leslie from September 23rd to the 25th. Oh, but then it just lost its organization and the advisory stopped, only to be picked up again September 28th. Okay, well, I, in a video that I posted, pointed out Leslie. Actually, in several videos, I pointed out Leslie. Um, and why isn't Leslie coming up? Okay. Um, but this video that I took, this capture of IntelliPass, 9-27-2018. And I think I posted a video saying, okay, so they were saying Hurricane Florence. <laughs> oh my God, these hurricanes, they just go on forever, ever, okay? Landfall, when a hurricane hits, oh, boom, it weakens. Not anymore. It gains strength over land. So Florence, it goes, uh, yeah, hits Wilmington, North Carolina, sits there for a while, then makes a left-hand turn, goes down South Carolina, the coast, then travels through South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, hits Kentucky and Tennessee, West Virginia, Virginia. Oh, and then it goes into Pennsylvania, and then it cuts across into New York, and then it goes right back out into the Atlantic and refuels. And they were saying, no joke, meteorologists were saying Hurricane Florence was regaining strength in the Atlantic and was going to come back and hit the Carolinas. They are saying things that uh, we've never heard before in terms of the weather. Uh, it really should beg questions. They are now outrageously lying all the time. And this is the world that we have to live in. It has become so surreal. Like it, it's an explosion of surreality, surreality surreal, absurd. Um, I feel like I'm living in one of Kafka's novels. Okay, well, Leslie. Where did I get Leslie? Oh, come on. Hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna swing out. I'm gonna swing out. I promise, I promise. Come on. Ah, here's Leslie. Okay. Now, that apparently was, uh, I guess I was trying to figure out where Florence was. Well, Florence was regaining strength. But I did point out, not just in one, but two videos, Leslie and her tracking and wondering if she was drunk or if they had recalled her to Africa. Oh no, uh, before she was recalled to Africa, she was on her way to um, Portugal. And that was weeks ago. Now why can't I hit on Leslie? I'm sorry. Let me just pause you. Voila, yeah, Leslie. September 27th. And in one of the videos, I did show, wow, this is bizarre tracking. She seemed to have been, uh, uh, her genesis started in mid-Atlantic, not off the coast of Africa. The tracking was so unbelievably bizarre. And how anybody can believe that this thing sat from September 23rd and then hit Portugal and France and Spain doing an awful lot of damage. How are these people thinking? What the hell? People are dead. They're dead. They're walking corpses. I'm sorry. There's something very wrong with them. This is, 
This is NASA's video. Um, 2013. What? 2013? Okay, that seems a little unusual, don't you think? 2013. Satellite sees Hurricane Leslie and Tropical Storm Michael in Atlantic. And guess what? This came up in a filtered search on YouTube. So Leslie, Michael, 2018. Wow. Life sure is strange. France. France saw huge devastation of flash floods. Understand they don't need hurricanes to create flash floods, but they need that to get you convinced that this is the devastation of a tropical storm or a hurricane, right? This isn't the first flash flood to hit France or, per or Portugal or Spain. Spain had a uh, um, obviously I'm not talking about the whole country but Spain just about a week ago had a devastating flash flood and now they have another one but this is France Wow Leslie Michael remnants remnants Carol why do you keep saying remnants remnants Wow all the way from the US of A Michael Pretty powerful, isn't Michael? Okay. Well, the war continues. It's just getting more and more ramped up. More and more people are going out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say it whole lot of Christians are waiting for Jesus to return and a whole lot of Trump supporters and QAnon folks are just sitting back waiting for those arrests and well when you yeah look I don't care what beliefs people have I care when those beliefs have allowed them to live doing nothing while people are suffering this war. It's like they don't really want to deal with any reality. Boom. Rain bombs, I guess. Started at the bottom of this because I wanted you to see major world cities are making cars a thing of the past. Agenda 2030 continues to ramp on up. Weather Network. Remnants of two hurricanes, Leslie and Michael, are bringing strong wind and heavy rain to Spain at the same time. Here's her tracking. So she did start in the middle of the Atlantic and sat there for weeks and weeks. And then was launched. Rescue services reporting over 3,000 calls. <laughs> and you need your leader to come to those areas that are devastated. Flash flood kills at least 13 people as Hurricane Leslie hits mainland Europe. Now, does it look like the currents are all that strong? Is there any rope tying this guy to the tree, you know, to make sure that he doesn't float away? Maybe this guy is, he just got 
caught there. I don't know. Well, uh, okay. Well, that's just, we don't question anything, Carol. Stop thinking. I actually had people say that to me. Stop thinking. Lots of destruction all over the world. A whole lot. Now rain just takes out bridges and roads. And an awful lot of people suffer. And this is hard to take, guys. Storm Leslie, Portugal hit by hurricane force winds. Yeah, thousands of trees have been uprooted. Wow, look at all the fungus. Fungal disease on that tree. NATO's, uh, uh, NATO countries in particular have been hit hard with the geoengineering. Only increasing amounts, only increasing amounts of uh, toxins year after year. Um, this looks odd. These trees just snapped. Snapped. And where are the the tops of the trees? Which I can't see anywhere. The high winds could be brought about by microbursts, which they can create with the technology that they have. Just wanted you to see that in virtually every mainstream media article you see is climate change making hurricanes worse. In part, this is to pummel into your brain. Climate change, global warming is real, and we've got to do something about it. When it's actually man creating all of these weather events. I thought it was interesting. This is a nearly two-hour video, Portugal, of Hurricane Leslie live and throughout the entire video. You hardly see wind strong enough to take out the trees, rain strong enough to create that kind of flooding. This is the hurricane level in Portugal that has left hundreds of thousands of people without power, thousands of trees blown over. You can check it out yourself. Uh, I have not watched for two hours, but I did scan um, just trying to see if there was any period where you'd see a lot of wind. Maybe for, you know, seven minutes, the winds that you got in Panama City in that 23 mile zone, demarcated by In Truth by Grace, who also, um, in her research, found that it was about seven minutes of hurricane winds. So maybe there's a seven minute patch here that didn't take out these trees and didn't cause any flooding here in this area. What I'm pointing out here is that they can bring about microbursts and cause localized flooding in one area and then an area close by gets this. Um, so, Catalonia, Spain, flooding, landslides, 9,100 people without power. Um, we have a global emergency. You know what this guy said? You know what this disgusting... God, these people are so disgusting. 
He said uh, something like the skies are now sewers. And I have not read this article. I got an email from a subscriber who told me about or I don't know, I can't even remember, maybe I saw a headline. These people are so unbelievably... <gasps> Gore said the scientists behind the UN report torqued up their warning in the hopes of getting the attention of policymakers worldwide. Oh, so the torquing up wasn't based on science. They're just hoping to get the attention of policymakers worldwide. Oh, and he got a Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, but then so did Obama, who dropped bombs all over the Mideast, killing innocent people. So anybody who could actually believe that the Nobel Commission is not bought and sold, well, the nonsense from IPCC has got nothing, nothing to do with science, only money confirmed by the fact that empirical data, they ignore it. I've posted so many videos in my six years. Scientists, Nobel laureates, physicists, oh God, climate scientists. Um, they, IPCC, it's a fear-mongering um, bought and sold panel. Their science, fraud, flawed, crap. Every assessment has been shot down by independent scientists. Um, Gore, jet stream getting loopier and wavier, so we have a global emergency. You know, these people are so hypocritical. It's so... They repulse me. I'm looking down. I'm not even looking at this picture. Um, because they're lying through their teeth. They are lying through their teeth. So, either we do things differently with those in our lives, or we sit back and watch this destruction just continue to ramp up and let the evil doers, the evil doers, um, succeed. They've been succeeding. The well, links are below.